If you've ventured out to the supermarkets over the last few weeks, you'll know how different things are looking. Remember all that talk of stockpiling? Well, in just four weeks, British shoppers spent nearly £2 billion more in supermarkets, making an extra 79 million shopping trips. And for one chef who's been advising supermarkets on food for a while, she's best placed to tell us what's good to have in your cupboard. All of us are going to have to adapt and change the way we shop, change the way we eat. I think we're going to have to make our food last longer and get the most out of food. Um, And it is a case of whatever we do have, making the most of it. I don't think any of us can be picky or choosy right now. None of us can be fussy. And, you know, we're going to have to rely on products that we want to turn our noses apart. A lot of people just want fresh meat, fresh veg. We will have to depend on ambient products, on frozen, on tinned. I mean, I've kept in touch with some of my connections in the food manufacturing industry, and they are working round the clock to fill our supermarkets. They have had to prioritise high demand products, such as the pastas, the rices, the flours. And those do take priority because they are ambient products. And unfortunately, a lot of people have stocked up on those. Um, Because of that, some other products on the shelves aren't um, as vastly available, such as ready meals, unfortunately. Um, But that's just the way everybody stocked up. It's supply and demand. Now, I'm a huge fan of lentils, and from lentils you can do so much. I launched my book, The Delicious Book of Dal, last year, and it's just been so popular with the British public just because there's so much you can do with lentils from soups to fritters to pancakes. So that's something I really, really um, promote well, lentils. (laughs) 